So look, you clicked on this video because life right now is trying to get you on your purpose as a man. Okay, it's trying to put you on this path towards your purpose. But you've been struggling with it. And how I know that is because of the title of this video. And the title of this video is the reason why you have been struggling to get on your purpose as a man. It's the struggle many, many, many people face and that I've faced in the past as well and that I've overcame. And it's really the hard part for most people to overcome. But once you break through this, brother, I can promise you that is when you get on track with your purpose. That is when you start becoming that man of which you need to become, that change in your family. That first person to become successful in your family, that person to change it all, right? The person to be the change in the world that needs to be, that needs to happen. And so, you know, the world's trying to push you on your purpose, but you're struggling with the loneliness of this journey, man. And I get that, dude, because I struggle with that same shit, bro. That same shit. But you want to know what? You want to know what? The friends you currently have in your life, the people around you, they aren't your fucking friends, brother. They are not your friends. And I can tell you that because you desire so much more from life than they do. You want so much more. You, you have such higher standards for yourself than they do. You see yourself in the future as this man, but right now you're here. So how do you take yourself from here to where you are right now, to where you see yourself? It's by getting rid of these friends in the current environment you are in because you can only outwork your environment for so long, okay? You can raise your standards when you're away from your friends and try to become that man. But as soon as you go back to your friends, you're going to lower your standards so that they feel comfortable around you. So that they don't say, oh, you're changing. So that they, they don't notice that, oh, you're trying to actually get ahead in life and you're trying to actually become something. Because these friends aren't your friends. They're just friends with the same drug. Like y'all are just friends with the same drug, man. Check, check. <laughs> just want to make sure the mic's working. Y'all are just friends with smoking weed, with vaping, with being losers, with eating junk food, with going out on the weekends and sitting in the club, staring at girls and saying they're bad, but not actually accomplishing anything. Y'all are just friends with these same bad habits, man. Y'all are just friends with the same bullshit. Y'all are just friends because y'all aren't going anywhere in life together, but you're always talking about going somewhere. It's that's all, that, that's all. Now that I'm actually going somewhere in life as a man, like now that I'm actually making progress, now that I'm in this insane shape, I have hundreds of thousands of followers online. I've just bought this $45,000 fucking Dodge Challenger scat pack, right? At 21, I just turned 21, right? My business is doing 10K a month. All these things are going well. I'm about to move to Miami, et cetera, et cetera. Like all these things are going well, dude. And I have no friends. I have zero friends. There is not a single person I can say that, yeah, he's my friend. I, I have gym bros, you know, I got people I am group chats with and etc. And sorry to any of the people that know me that may be watching this. I'm not saying we aren't friends, but I pretty much have no friends. And overcoming the barrier of loneliness was the hardest part to get here. And where I'm at, I'm happy. I'm so glad I got to where I'm at because in order to rise above where you currently are in life, you must mentally rise there first. Your external world is a reflection of your internal world. And so if you want your external world to change, right, you want to see more abundance, you know, you want to get out of your hometown, you want to go somewhere, you want that car, you want that chick, you want that body, you want that business, you want that amount of money. I know these are just materialistic things, but like, let's be honest. 
These are all things we want in life as a man. These are all things we crave and need. You know, we all want to become successful. Let's not lie to ourselves. Is it everything? No. But we need to become successful. We need to provide for our family. So it's like we got to get these things, right? In order for these things to be reflected in your external world, bro, it first has to be envisioned in your internal world. It has to be there in your internal world for it to reflect in your external world. And again, you can try to rise above where you currently are. But if you, on a Friday night or a Saturday night, go to that low vibrational environment, your friends, it's not gonna last long. You cannot keep up that momentum long enough to actually see the results. What I'm saying is a lot of people, I used to be this guy, Monday through fucking Friday, right? They're grinding hard, they're working hard, they're doing all the habits they gotta do. Friday comes, yo bro, you wanna go out? And you feel lonely. You know, it's a Friday night, all oh, everyone's going out, you're seeing everyone going out, and you're feeling a little bit lonely, so you're like, you know, yeah, I just gotta be home by this time so I can get to sleep because I wanna do some things tomorrow, right? But then you get around them, man, and all the vibrational energy you built up all week is instantly just drained by them. It's instantly just drained by them, by those people of low standards. Because naturally, bro, you're gonna lower, to, you're gonna lower your standards to the people around you. Like, until you break through the fucking wall that I'm trying to break you through, you are gonna lower your standards to the people around you. Because I've gotten to the point where, I was talking to this girl that I was, recently that I was like, I wanna marry this girl. There's a couple of videos ago, I literally said I wanna marry this girl. But then I really started to like discover who she was. And I got caught up in her telling me her standards were high. But in reality, her standards were not that high. And I cut it off as, in, as in, instantly when I discovered that. Because I knew I would just lower my standards just to keep somebody in my life because I was scared of being alone. But after going through a dozen relationships at only 21, let me tell you what. Leave people quicker. Leave them quicker. Get rid of people quicker in your life because the faster you can move in life, the higher the chance you are gonna become successful. The higher the chance you are actually gonna fulfill your purpose and become what you want to become and live a happy and fulfilled life. Because if you hang on to things super fucking long, you're just wasting your time. When you could just say, you know what? I'm not gonna lower my standards to this person. I don't care. Bye, I gotta go. I gotta keep high standards for myself. And if you don't wanna rise to my standards, I'm not gonna stoop to your standards. No fucking way, man. And so you need to break through the wall of being scared of being alone. And the main issue with this is when you are first getting started on your self-improvement journey, on trying to like fulfill your purpose as a man, again, we're not gonna overcomplicate purpose. It's just to become a person you admire, like achieving all the things you want with your life, right? In order to break through that initial barrier, <clears throat> you gotta understand, you need to be consistent seven days out of the week for many months straight. You gotta stop going out. You gotta stop fucking up your routine on a Friday night and a Saturday night. And the main struggle you're gonna have is when you're sitting there on a Friday night, when you're sitting there on a Saturday night, and people are going out and all these things to do, you're gonna be sitting in your mind, just thinking, thinking. And it's gonna feel uncomfortable, man. It's gonna feel uncomfortable. You know why? Because you're making a sacrifice at the moment. You're sacrificing pleasure and fun and what's comfortable and your actual like n normal behavior to try to achieve something in life which you don't know if it's gonna pay off, right? I remember a couple years ago when I was like, dude, I gotta stop going out. I gotta stop hanging out with these loser girls, these loser friends. You know, I gotta stop doing dumb shit. I'd sit in my room on a Friday night, Saturday night, and I'd just feel off. I'd feel terrible. It's because I'd be looking inwards onto myself. I would actually like be seeing all my own thoughts and the reason a lot of people need, feel, feel the need to be social every single weekend is because they live a, a, a shitty life and so they want to escape it. But it's fine if you live a shitty life. It's fine if Monday through Friday is shitty. I've been there as well. Working a shitty job, which I absolutely hate. Showing up for a boss. I don't want to fucking do that shit. Nor, nor do you. You don't want to fucking do that shit. 
God, those jobs were fucking terrible. I hated that shit so much. And then the Friday and Saturday comes around and you're off and now you gotta sit with fuck. The past five days of my life just sucked. But the only way through is by pushing through, brother. You have to break through that wall by just fucking breaking through it and forcing yourself through it. Because you're gonna try to break through that wall and it's gonna feel uncomfortable, it's not gonna feel good and you're gonna go back, you're gonna hang out with those friends and they're gonna keep you down, man. But you just have to face that shit head on. Because in order to be okay with being alone, in order to like be okay with like just being by yourself, man, and working towards your goals, you have to build confidence. You have to build confidence, okay? You have to build confidence in yourself. And confidence is competence and courage combined in, okay? There's two things to confidence. You have to have competence in an area and you have to have courage in that area to feel confident in that area. And the courage part, the courage aspect of confidence comes from heading into the direction of fear. And so when you get that FOMO, when you get that fear of losing those friends or losing that girl or missing out, you have to head into that direction. You just have to fucking head into it. Because eventually you will adjust to that uncomfortableness and eventually you won't feel it at all. You won't feel it at all. I don't feel lonely anymore. Not at all. You know why? Because I built true confidence in every single area of my life. I love just fucking working on myself seven days out of the week, having a consistent routine. And I'm 21, I know all my friends are going out and they're getting drunk and they're hooking up with girls, which you know sounds fun, but to me that's not fun. To me what's fun is waking up, looking in the mirror, looking even better. To me what's fun is waking up and seeing more money in my bank account. To me what's fun is you know, planning a trip going places, doing cool things, right? Buying cool fucking things. Like to me, that's fucking fun is building shit and achieving shit like it's a fucking video game. And you gotta sit there with yourself and pay attention to what the fuck is going on in your mind. Cause that is where you build the, co the, the competence aspect of it. If you wanna be confident, you have to look inwards and you have to spend time in those thoughts that you have been shoving in the closet and under the rug for so fucking long. Because this is the issue a lot of people make. This is where midlife crises come from. This is where depressions, deep depressions come from, is you shove things away in the closet or under the rug for so long and eventually it builds up so much that one day it all just fucking explodes. It all explodes! And then boom! You have to clean it all up right then. But dude, just clean it up now! Just clean it up now. Don't wait for it later. Because this is what will happen if you wait for it later. If you wait to overcome the being okay with being alone, being okay with working on yourself, being okay with sacrificing friends, relationships, and fun as a young man to achieve your goals. You're gonna get to a point where you're 25, you're 26, you got a girlfriend, you got a, you know, a good job, a good nine to five, you know, things are, are comfortable, they're good. But because there's still many issues you haven't overcame, because you're still somewhat of a fucking loser, your girl cheats on you. She leaves you for a better man. Or something else happens. Boom, then you're stuck there. Then you're stuck there. And you have nothing to prove for 26 years of fucking life. And that is sad. And there's gonna be a lot of older, a lot of older men and people in these comments Typing some fucking hate because this 21 year old who's making more money than them, who has all these followers online and things are going well and he has a fucking sick physique and he's probably got hit their fucking dream car. Not to flex, just to like show you that the work instills the worth, that the work is actually, it's gonna work if you go all fucking in. They're gonna be hating on me because they knew that's what they could have accomplished, but they were too scared to make the sacrifices I made. They were too scared to cut out those friends. They were too scared to sit alone in their room on a Friday and Saturday night and work on themselves because they couldn't deal with their own mind. But your mind is your sharpest tool and if you don't learn how to use it, it's gonna cut you. And so the best thing I ever did on my journey of self-improvement, brother, of my journey towards my purpose, was to sit with those fucking thoughts of which I hated, 
of which I did not feel comfortable thinking about. Right? The guilt, the shame, all the, all the times you fucked up, all the times you said you were going to do something and you didn't. Thinking about how far you could be ahead in life if you actually fucking stick to what you said you would do. And you're sitting there you're like, fuck, dude. Or, or, or you know, you, you just want to change your life, you know? You, you don't want to be working that same shitty job anymore. You don't want to be in that old environment. You want some more money, man. That's okay. It's okay to want that shit. too scared to take that leap of faith. You didn't understand that in order to become courageous, you have to head into the fear of direction. You have to go all in every single day. You have to go all the fuck in every single day if you want to achieve that life, dude. I have such a deep fire in me right now to achieve everything I want that the other night I got three hours of sleep. Still worked my ass off. Tonight I got five-ish hours of sleep. And I've been getting like five, like four to six hours of sleep every single night for the past couple weeks. Even though I'm on bodybuilding prep, and yes, more sleep would probably make my physique look better, but I have such a strong fire in me to accomplish so much in my life right now that I'm sacrificing friends. I'm sacrificing fun. I'm sacrificing sleep to get ahead because I want to get all the bullshit out of the bullshit I know I'm going to have to deal with either way in life out, out of the way now. I want to get it out of the fucking way now so that I don't have to deal with it when I'm older. Because I'm young right now. And a lot of people don't understand how far you can fucking push your body and yourself when you are young. I had this limiting belief the other day when I only got three hours of sleep the other night. I'm waking up. Okay. I do my whole morning routine, right? I, I wake up at 5 a.m. every single day. I do my 30 minutes of cardio. Um, I journal. All these different things, right? And I get done with all that. I get done with like a shower and I lay in, I, I, I go out to actually lay down on bed. It's like 7 a.m. now. And I'm thinking to myself like, these, just getting three hours of sleep is gonna be so bad for you. Go to sleep, Ryan, go to sleep, Ryan. You need to go to sleep. And I try, I'm trying to go to sleep. Like I'm actually trying to fall asleep, I'll be honest. But my mind just kept racing and I felt off. I felt off. And my, I could tell that my conscience was telling me you need to go all in, okay? The way you do one thing in life is the way you do everything. And if you aren't going all in every single second of the fucking day, bro, you aren't proven to the fucking universe. You aren't proven to yourself that you truly want what you say you want. You say you want these fucking things. So understand, it's gonna take every single ounce, every single fucking molecule in your body to achieve these things. It really is. And that's why you got to get out of the way when you were young, dude. Get it out of the fucking way now. Make that shit happen now, bro. Okay, because the longer you wait to put it off, the longer you wait for the perfect fucking moment, for the perfect circumstances, I couldn't even tell you, to be honest with you, because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Waiting for the perfect moment, waiting for the perfect circumstances, waiting for something to change, it doesn't make sense. Why? Because the only moment is now, bro. There's no future moment. There's no past moment. The only thing you can change is right now. It's in this moment now. That's the only time you can change. Is right now. Look, man, again, you can only outwork your environment for so long. This is something I wish somebody would have taught me sooner. I've had periods of my journey for the past four years is when I've like really locked in on trying to get on my purpose as a man and actually become something because I just knew that's, that's the best way to live life. Like I can't, I can't live a normal life. It's not me. I can't. And then when I started to do that, I would, you know, get locked in throughout the week. But then... You know, I'd fuck it all up going back to my same old, old environment. And again, you can only outwork that environment for so long, dude. For so long before their negative beliefs, their low vibration rubs off on you. I always say that one bad habit outweighs 10 good habits. Okay? So you can have 10 good habits every single day for five days a week. Then you go hang out with your friend. 
You do some dumb shit, one bad habit, you fuck it all up. One small little fucking decision fucked up all that momentum. And you gotta get the momentum going in life. You have to get it going. Seven days out of the week for months straight if you want to see some type of progress. That's what people don't fucking get. They want to see progress from three weeks of locking in. Dude, expect the minimum time frame to be three years. Three fucking years, man. Expect it to be that. That's nothing. That's a small sacrifice for the life we could create. For how fulfilled we can become. Because I'm telling you what, after I broke through that wall of the fear of loneliness, right? Holding on to people that weren't benefiting me, that weren't on the same fucking journey as me, that didn't have the same mindset as me. I feel so much better about life because every single day I'm making progress. Every single day I'm leveling up. Why? Because, because I'm isolated, because my environment is only me, I'm able to raise my standards to whatever I want. And my standards are extremely fucking high. Everything in my life is super disciplined, super organized, super exact, okay? I understand every output I want, and so I also understand every input, right? I understand everything I want, and so I understand everything that needs to happen in order to get that done. Everything is just, it's at such a high standard. And the only way I was able to get there is by escaping that environment of low standards. Because again, once you get around them, you are gonna stoop to their fucking level. And in order to get around the people with the high standards of which you see yourself wanting to have or you mentally have, you actually have to manifest that shit into real life is the best way to put it. Like you actually have to see the physical manifestation of your mentally high standards, okay? Your internal world will become a reflection of your external world. But it takes time. Success will lag behind you. So in order to get around those people, you have to isolate yourself, raise your standards mentally before they physically become emb embodied on your body or in your external reality. And then you get around the people you want to get around. You get, you get the lifestyle you want. And the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. Again, I'm on prep right now. Everything in my life is done to such a high degree. That's why my body looks sick. That's why everything is going so well because my standards for myself are so fucking high. But before prep, even though I pretty much had the same habits, my standards weren't super high. And so I was still, I was going out. I was, again, I was talking to that girl that really didn't have the highest standards. I had some friends I would hang out with, didn't have the highest standards. And so there was lapses every single week where I had to lower my standards for myself. And again, one bad decision, one bad habit can outweigh 10 good habits, can outweigh 10 good decisions. And so you have to overcome that fear of loneliness because again, it's gonna take a lot of work, a lot of consistency in order to create the reality you want. So just realize these aren't your friends. They aren't your fucking friends, man. You're friends with the same drug. That's all you simply are. You gotta rise above that shit, man. Get rid of the fucking vices that are holding you down. And your friends are your vices that are holding you down. It's perfectly okay, bro, to be alone for a while. It's perfectly okay because, that's how, again, that's how you build that true confidence. You become courageous by removing the people you don't need in your life. And you build the competence because when you spend time alone and in solitude, you learn so much about yourself. All great men have spent a lot of time in solitude. And they're great men because they have looked inwards and actually looked inside of their own mind. There's so much great shit in here that, bro, you need to be giving time to look inwards. Because if you're constantly distracted by all this shit, you never give yourself time to look inwards. So you never build that competence.
another thing you have to do is change your belief system. Okay, a man cannot rise above which he sees in himself, his beliefs. Okay, and so if you're struggling with that that loneliness part of this journey, man, of you know, of, of, you're trying to get on your purpose, but you're struggling with that loneliness part of removing these people out of your life, it's because you believe you aren't comfortable being alone. It's because you believe that it's not okay to remove friends or you know just get rid of people that have been in your life for a while because you need to better yourself. Like There's all these different beliefs you may have that are holding you back and that's why you can't rise above to where you wanna be because your belief system is not there. The only way to change that belief, man, comes from your behavior. It comes from your behavior, man. So you need to behave in a different fucking way in order to change your belief. And so at first, when you start to spend time alone, you're not gonna see results from that sacrifice because yes, you are sacrificing. You're sacrificing the fun when you're young, your friends when you're young, the experiences when you're young, those are sacrifices for something that may not pay off, right? I can promise you it will pay off, but in your mind you're thinking it may not pay off, right? So you, you, you just do the instant gratification shit instead of the delayed gratification shit, right? Because instant gratification is going out with your friends now and just living this comfortable average life. Delayed gratification is isolating yourself, really building yourself up mentally so that that becomes reflected in your external world and then you live such a dope reality. Like you're doing the cool shit we all see online, right? I'll be honest, I forgot what the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> Prep brain, bro, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I look sick, but my mind's fucked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, belief system, okay. You have to head into the direction the hardest, making the shift is hard because it's not a part of your identity. Your identity is you hang out with these friends. Like these are your friends. This is what you do on the weekend, right? This is your girlfriend or whatever. Like this is your life. But in order to make the change, you have to change your habits, right? You have to change your habits in order to create a different outcome in life, right? Your input is the habit. The output is your life, okay? So you must change the habit. And when you try to change a habit, it's not gonna feel good. It's gonna be hard to change that habit because your habits are a part of your identity. And so in order to shift your habits, you must shift your identity. And that is one of the hardest things to do because it's your fucking identity, bro. It's all you know about life. It's all you believe about life. And so for some people, this video is gonna piss them off because I'm literally changing their fucking identity. I'm literally telling them that their identity is wrong and that's why their life fucking sucks. And so like, fuck, the whole way I've been thinking and go about my life has been completely wrong. And that brings shame and guilt. So don't let that bring you shame and guilt. Let that bring you, you have to accept that it's okay that you've been fucking off for a while, that you haven't been doing what you know you should have been doing, right? That you, you know, when God's trying to fucking, or when the universe is trying to fucking put you through these experiences to tell you like, hey bro, I'm trying to get you on your purpose. I put you on earth for a reason, but you're doing all this fucking dumb shit, wasting your time. You don't fucking listen, man. You don't fucking listen. So that's why you feel fucking shitty about your life because depression is a notification for self-preservation and anxiety is also just telling you you were living out of fucking alignment, man, okay? And so the identity shifts the fucking hard part, man. But the only way to change that shit is to brutally force yourself through that fucking wall, to break through that fucking wall with brute force, because then your identity shifts. After so many repetitions, it takes about 66 repetitions of doing something or hearing something for it to become ingrained inside of you. So after 66 repetitions, so like let's say 66 weeks of staying in the house, doing what you know you gotta do to get to where you wanna go, then it finally becomes ingrained inside of you. And then, then you become a person like, oh, your identity shifts to, I'm not comfortable being alone, to I'm comfortable being alone. And so then you actually sit in the house and you feel great. It actually feels weird for you to go out and go to the club and sit there and stare at girls and be like, yeah, she's bad, and then do nothing fucking about it. 
it becomes ingrained inside of you. And once it becomes ingrained inside of you, that's truly when you get the fucking result of all this shit, man. So you gotta stick to it. You gotta head in the direction and you gotta stick to what you told yourself you would do, which is cut out your fake friends, cut out that bullshit, get rid of that fucking girl that isn't good for you or get rid of all the shit you do that you know just isn't benefiting you, man, and wasting your time. Dude, you only have a finite amount of time on this earth, so make it fucking count, man. Make that shit fucking count, okay? I tell the story like every fucking video. This is the day my sister passed away, August 7th, 2021. And that's the day I changed my fucking life. Because I always knew who I wanted to become. I always knew I wanted to get on this journey. I always knew I wanted to become the greatest version of myself and achieve all these things. But for so long, I was scared of making a sacrifice, getting with my fake friends, and stop fucking coping with the shitty existence I lived and the shitty body I had and the shitty minds I had with going out and distracting myself from my inner thoughts and the calling of my conscious and what God was trying to tell me. But then when that happened, I realized that, fuck, dude, you could die any fucking day. And I thought to myself, if I was laying on the pavement about to die and I was currently living my life like how I used to live my life, I would have been so fucking angry, so sad because I knew I always saw where I wanted my life to go, but I didn't align my actual habits with it. I didn't align my actions with it. It would have been sad. And so then I saw myself, what if I actually aligned my life with what I say I want? My habits with what I say I want. My behaviors with what I say I want. Even if I didn't have the results yet, I would still be happy laying there passing away. Because I knew I was taking actions towards that life. At the end of the day, I mean, life's just a, it's an emotional experience. So when you take the actions towards the life you want to live, you vibrate at a high fucking level. That's the most important thing. I mean, eventually you'll get the materialistic shit. You know, you'll get the body, you'll get the car, you'll get this, that, and the third. But the most important thing is success is earned every single day by increasing your vibration, by doing the things you know you got to do to become the person you want to become and staying away from the fucking bullshit that's going to drag you down and lower your vibration, vices, and so on. That's when I made that fucking shift, is when I realized life ain't gonna last forever. So take the action now. Take the action now. They ain't your friends, bro. They're just holding you down. They're just holding you down. You have so much in you, and you're allowing the fear of loneliness to hold you back. So go all fucking in. Because the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. And if you cannot get rid of the things in life, the friends, the environment that's holding you down, that's holding you back, you can't get rid of all the other things that are holding you down and holding you back. Again, you can get rid of your vaping problem. You can get rid of your drinking problem. You can get rid of your porn addiction. But if your friends have that, you can't outwork that for super long. Eventually, you're gonna stoop to their level once again. It's eventually gonna happen, trust me. Because I've been through that same exact fucking shit. I love you guys, man. You, you guys are absolutely amazing. I'm loving where this channel's going. We're building such a great fucking community here. And some of you guys have joined my coaching as well, and it, it's awesome. Uh, I've, I've, I've been having some straight fucking killers come to me with these big dreams and ambitions, and we're all getting together and working together towards becoming this greatest, this greatest versions of ourselves um, through mindset, habits, diet, nutrition, training, etc. You know, just the simple fucking shit in life that gets you the fucking results, man. So it's just, it's absolutely amazing, dude. We're, we're on a fucking journey here, guys, and we're about to blow this channel up in the next year. All right, so make sure you subscribe. Make sure you fucking subscribe, man, because we're going somewhere. And if you're on the same journey with me, I want you to be along with it, man. I want you to be fucking along with it, all right? Peace out.